I'll teach you the easiest way to make an awesome clicker game in Scratch. Okay, let's start at the Scratch website and click create. Now, let's name our project. So, I'm gonna make a donut clicker. There's gonna be six steps we're gonna follow. Let's start with step one. So over here is Sprite One, our cat over here. If we go to costumes, we can change how it looks. Go down here and click on choose a costume. This is the costume library. It has a bunch of things that Scratch already has drawn for you. If we search over here, I can get a donut. And this is donut clicker, so I kinda want a donut. <laughs> and you can delete these Scratch cats by just clicking the little trash icon. We got our donut over here, but white background, kind of boring. So click over to your stage and then up here to backdrops and then choose a backdrop. And you can just choose the background here. Uh, I might just go with blue sky too. It's just a nice shade of blue. Scratch has a built in like little editor here. So you can change it to whatever you want, but let's just leave it there. Now click back onto your, your sprite and let's rename that from Sprite 1 to Donut, because it's a donut. Naming things helps us to keep organised. Now to actually add clicker game functionality, let's go over to the Variables tab. And see how we've got my variable over here? Let's create a new variable. So click the button and type new variable name. So I want it to be Donuts. So what is a variable? Well, Pretty much it's a number we can change any time. So, see we can change donuts by one, and over here, it increases by one. So change it by one, it went up, and then we can set it. So, set it to zero, it goes back to zero. Now to make our clicker game, we'll drag this change donuts by one block in, and then in events, when this sprite clicked. So, when we click this donut, the number goes up. Yay! Now usually on Scratch games, the green flag will reset the project, but it's not. So to do that, we get the when green flag clicked block, go to variables, and set donuts to zero. So this is the most basic clicker game possible. Now let's improve it a little bit by adding a shop. So to add a shop, let's create a new sprite. We'll choose paint this time. And now draw a little box and change up here and fill, we can change the colors and stuff and then add an outline. And you can change the size of that. Now what this box will do is we can click on it to buy an upgrade. I like to have my costumes in the middle, so click your box, drag it there, and then we can drag this on the stage to where we want our shop to be. So over there, and I think it's a bit big, so let's shrink it down. Now maybe it's a bit too small now, so I could go like that. And put that in the corner. And I might change my outline size a bit. Okay, now the fun thing with clicker games is the shop and upgrades and everything can be whatever you want to fit your theme. So since this is a donut clicker, and the donut has sprinkles on it, I might name this upgrade Sprinkles. <laughs> So you type, and if your text isn't showing up, just change fill to black. Also, you can zoom in with these magnifying glasses. So I got sprinkles, and now we'll do what the upgrade does. So plus one donuts per click. And we can put that little text down here. Nice. I might want to draw an icon for the upgrade. So we can use our paintbrush change the colour using our sliders here. So we can have a green sprinkle. Blue sprinkle. Orange sprinkle. It's kind of ugly, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Notice we haven't put the price of the upgrade in here yet. That's because we can go to the code section and make a new variable, and this will be our price. So make a variable, name it price, and then click for this sprite only, like that. See this variable? We can drag these around we can put it here and we can right click and change it to a large readout and that makes the number bigger. See how our orange variable box is overlapping the text? We can just go to costumes again and make the box a bit bigger <laughs> and then drag that around and that's good. I might also want an icon for the donuts. 
So we can go to Donut, drag it all around here, then click Copy and Paste and shrink that down here. There we go. And I might drag that orange variable box around. That's looking pretty nice. But it doesn't do anything yet. So let's go to code and we can put a when this sprite clicked block in. So what we want to do is if we have enough donuts, we'll buy the upgrade. If we do not have enough donuts, we don't want to buy the upgrade. And when we buy the upgrade, we want to increase the donuts we get per click by one. So let's do that. So we can do an if, and we can do if, and we can drag these two variables, donuts and price. So if donuts, now, in the Operators tab, we've got three comparison blocks. Greater than, less than, and equal to. You might think, oh, we'll just check if Donuts is greater than price. But what if Donuts is exactly the same as our price? Then you can't buy it. So what we can do instead is we can use this less than block. So if Donuts is less than, and then we can put a not at the front. This will check if our Donuts is greater than or equal to the price. And then inside this if, we want to take the donuts away. So change donuts by, then we put the price in here, but we need to make it negative. So let's put a minus block in here. So put the minus there. So they'll just put a minus symbol in front. So we'll make our donuts go down. To make the upgrade do something, we'll need to make another variable. So make a variable, and then let's name it donuts per click. And you want this for all sprites. And of course, if you're clicking something that isn't donuts, change the name of the variable. <laughs> now go to your donut sprite, zoom in a bit, <laughs> and then instead of change donuts by one, we change donuts by donuts per click. And also when green flag clicked, we set donuts per click to one or one. Okay, and then back into our sprite here. Oh, I haven't named it yet. Okay, let's name it click upgrade. That'll help us keep organized. So we want to change donuts per click by one when we buy the upgrade. Also, we might want to set the price because currently it's zero and that will be pretty cheap. <laughs> so when green flag clicked, set price to maybe 10. You can change these numbers to whatever you want. So we get one donut per click we got 10 donuts for the sprinkles, so we'll test. Can we buy it with just 10? Correct. Our donuts went down, donuts per click went up, and it's working. But do you notice how our price isn't going down? See, every click I'm getting 10 donuts. <laughs> it's a bit too OP at the moment. So let's go back, set price to, and then we'll get the price variable bubble, and then operators times and now let's put a number in here so times two we'll double it times one we'll keep it the same 1.5 is 50 percent more expensive 1.75 75 percent more expensive let's just do 1.2 so we'll get 20 percent more expensive each time you buy it and we'll also need to put this round block in without that the prices will just have lots of decimal places and it will look heaps ugly. <laughs> Click green flag, go to full screen. Okay, we got 10 donuts. Now the price is 12. Oh, this is getting fun already. <laughs> now, wouldn't it be nice if we had an upgrade that gave you donuts every second? Yeah, it would be. Let's do that. What we can do is we can duplicate the previous sprite and let's rename it. I might want this to be a baker. So, because bakers bake donuts, right? I think. And then we go into the costumes and let's just change the text. Baker. And we can do plus one donuts per second. Well, let's just abbreviate second to SEC. And instead of the sprinkles, I'll get rid of that. Now I don't really know what to draw here. So what we can do is just go to Scratch's costume library and there's people here and we can just take one of these people and make it our baker.
Yep, we got this dude here. Just drag and click copy and paste. And this is our baker. <laughs> and once you're done with a costume, you can just delete it. Now let's move our little thing over to where we want it to be. So let's put it there. And now we'll also want to show this price variable. When we duplicated it, it made a new price variable. So see, this is the baker's price because we clicked for this sprite only. So change it to large readout, put it where you want. And now the code can be pretty much the same. Let's make the price start a bit more expensive though. I want to make it 50. And then set the price. I want to make it even more expensive. It will get 30% more expensive each time you buy it. And instead of changing donuts per click, let's create a variable. Donuts per second. And for the all sprites. Then let's go to our donut sprite. And then underneath this when green flag clicked block, Go to control, forever, wait one second, and we can change donuts by donuts per second. So <laughs> every second will increase the donuts by the amount it should increase by. And let's set that amount to zero at the start. So set donuts per second to zero. And over in our baker, instead of donuts per click, let's change to donuts per second by one. And that should all be good. Click the donut. Donuts is going up. Sprinkles is working still. We haven't changed anything there. Click a bunch of times. 50. And we're getting a donut every second. Isn't that pretty cool? Now I've got a challenge for you. Using what we just did, could you make a tier two baker? Could we have something that gives us like 10 donuts per second? Pause the video and try it now. I'll give you the answer in three, two, one. So what I'll do is you just go to Baker, duplicate it, move it across, and I want this to be a factory. So let's go to costumes, choose a costume, and let's search for like building. And that looks like a factory to me. Cause I think a factory would make a lot of donuts, right? So use your mouse, select everything, copy it, that's right we don't need it anymore paste it and okay I'll leave this here and I'll delete this little dude here so we can just click and delete each part of him <laughs> goodbye and now we can select this and see how it's selecting the box we can shift and then click and they'll unselect something and just drag our little box building over here and like that that's nice and we can have a factory plus 10 donuts per second. I'll make that a bit smaller so it fits. And now let's go over to code and let's set the price to 200. It's getting more expensive and it'll increase by 40% each time you buy it. It'll get heaps expensive, heaps quick. And let's change donuts per second by 10. I'll name it to keep us organized. Factory. And also remember, show your price variable, drag it, large readout, little adjustments here, yep. That's looking pretty nice. So let's click the green flag and play the game. So, sprinkle still work. And that will help us to get our baker. That still works. Look, I'm not clicking. The donuts are going up. And now let's do that. And the thing about clicker game is you can change the numbers however you like. So like, so if something's too hard to get or too easy, you can balance it by just changing the numbers at any time. Okay, we're almost at 200. Yep, factory. We're getting 10 donuts every second. Isn't that cool? This is just the beginning. Notice how donuts are pretty boring to click and our number counter is heaps ugly and the game just kind of feels boring. To learn how to fix all of that, watch this video here. We'll make a shine effect, cool number counter, epic particles and more. See you there.